Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, <laughs> we had made it through the perilous trek of, uh, sand people traps, and in some cases, actual sand people seeing through our disguises and attacking us anyway, and, uh, managed to make it to the front of their village. So, uh, we're going to continue on with this little trek that we have completed thus far. And because we have HK-47 with us, we should be able to talk to them. If what the shopkeeper and what he said is true. Here's hoping that's correct. So, let's go. Let's go with it. Whoop. It's obviously recognized you and is astounded that you are here. Your disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but it is ineffective at close range. Great. Good to know. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Oh? Why can you understand him and I can't? Cautionary. I am unsure, Master. Now is not the time for speculation, however. I will attempt to address your question later. Okay. Tell him we're not a threat. Translation. <laughs> Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest. Not common among outsiders. Okay. Let's not demand anything of him right now. Let's apologize for being here and say we want peace. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But okay. His duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather Better than not. Buddy, Master, but it is your call. <sighs> okay. <laughs> now keep that in mind, HK. Oh, I'm naked. Jay. Enjoy, Jojo. Although you can't seem to understand him, the Sand People Chieftain's tone is obvious. He clearly despises all outsiders. Alright. I am naked. Oh, joy. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Um... Why are you able to speak with them when I can't? Extrapolation. I understand that you are Force-sensitive, Master, but I lack sufficient knowledge to make an accurate assumption. Okay. Hypothesis. Perhaps your ability does not take the place of actual language study when the subject is out of the ordinary. I guess. Or perhaps the sand people confuse your ability because they actively refuse to communicate with most outsiders. I have no data on this, sadly. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, that's enough conjecture for me to make reasonable assumptions. It's probably a bit of both, if anything. Uh, tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Great. You kind of tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. Yeah. It requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? A contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. What is it that he wants? Translation. Oh, great. Mission is naked, too. That's good. All right. Well, see y'all on Mixer. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Uh-huh. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. The attacks must stop altogether. Translation. Translation. 
He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. All right, Protocol. that's fair. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess if that's what it takes and it is a step, that's better than not. We'll get his evaporators. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. All right. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Well, I guess we just got to prove him wrong now, don't we? Experience points uh, received and items lost. I guess we lost our... Uh... These guys going to attack us? No. No, they're not. Okay. Good to know. Let's actually get some uh, clothing on, shall we? Not run around naked any longer than we have to. Especially with Mission, the very, apparently, underage one. That's, that's bad for multiple, multiple reasons. Huh? Uh, you deal with this. Thank you. You are the best, Mission. You are the best. Alright. So now we will get out of here. That went better than I expected, considering. Could have gone far worse. Really? Huh? Still more of them? Alright. Well. I'll grab more of them. Yes. There, there's no way there can be more that I just accidentally missed, is there? I mean, I guess there's always that possibility but uh i think i've uh i think i've gone through all of them okay well back to the dune sea show of good faith we just get the moisture evaporators hi there oh disguise fails at short range um, there was no, there was no real attempt at that. Also, they're A-posing. Well, those two are A-posing. Three. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that would happen if I talked to them. Oops. <laughs> well... I guess we don't really have a lot of choice in the matter. Um, the other ones aren't fighting, though. Remains. Um, Ten people clothing and gas face stick. Um, Okay. Um. That, uh. That's not what I expected to happen. At all, really. Um. Huh? Ready. There you go. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to how to react to that because none of the rest of them attacked me. Only that one did. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that was a mistake I did or not. 
Didn't feel like it. Did that show up on the log, maybe? No, it doesn't. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Now we just, uh, get those moisture evaporators. Show them that we're doing this in good faith. And that that was an accident. It wasn't intended to actually fight anyone. Alright, to Anchorhead we go. Drink some of my tea. All right, here we are. And once we're done here, we can uh, go back and, I guess, try and finish up some of the other things, like looking for Griff and the Jawas. Where was I supposed to go? So that's a swoop. That's a swoop registration. Where was the Zerka headquarters again? This way, I think? Yeah, it was over here. That's right. Okay. Zerka office is over here. Hello again. I hear you've made an impression down at the swoop track. Zerka Corporation wholly supports local events. Uh -huh. Not financially, you understand. Yeah. Now, that's was what this I was about, about bounties to say. Or something else? I figured not financially, only, you know, spiritually. Uh -huh. I have gaffy sticks to redeem for bounties. I see that, but do you have the Just the regular ones for now. I'll take those off your hands, but the real prize is still out there. Gotcha. All right. Just figured I might as well sell them while I have them. Farewell. Bye. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Uh huh. Good to hear. Rita Holda. Swoop Jack, hmm? I know I don't have the crazy suicide parts you're looking for. Why do you assume I'm looking for suicide parts? Uh. What do you have available for purchase? Was there something specific you were looking for? You seem like you were, are looking for unique things. You're not wrong. Do you have any moisture evaporators? I may, but that is not something I usually sell to spacers. You don't look like a moisture farmer. What do you want them for? Um, that's not really your concern, is it? No, I suppose not. It wouldn't have mattered. Well, let me tell you what I have then. Well, I have two of the finest evaporators that Zerka Corporation produces. Of course, they only produce one model right now. The price is 400 credits for the pair. I won't break them up. They function best when linked together. Fair enough. Can you be persuaded to lower the price? Well, I don't think that's very likely. I have to cover my costs now. Zerka's costs, not yours. Who cares about their money? I can't do that. I just can't. You'll have to come up with the money. Damn it. Perhaps I could try to persuade you once more. You want to lower the prices. Of course I want to lower the price, but Zerka regulations... Ah, uh, who cares about those, right? I'll lower the price to 200 credits, but that is it. Don't even ask again. That sounds fine to me? Fine, fine. I assume you'll be able to handle the deployment of them? They are surprisingly light. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Do come again. No dark side points? I assumed I would get some. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That works. I got them for far less than I would have otherwise. Works for me. All right. So let us head back out, show the sand people we are doing this in good faith. There is no way we're not going to do this in good faith. We are here for a reason. We are here to help. 
Because that is how we do. We do the helping. We're the helping boy. We're the one who helps. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Good hunting out there. That was a very weak attempt at the meme. <laughs> I'll admit. But fuck it. I figured, why not? If I can go for a meme, do it. Alrighty. Man, this tea is good. Man, alright. It's good and it's cheap. And thus, it's good enough for me. Doesn't take much to win my heart. Nope. It's good. It's cheap. It's good enough. Oh, wow. I sound like a horrible person <laughs> saying that out loud. Oh, well. Alright. What else is new? Any more murdering? Nope. Okay. Cool. I probably shouldn't talk to them after what happened with the other guy. So, uh... Yeah, there we go. Let's go back up to the uh, Sand People Village. And we're not gonna talk to anyone. We're just gonna go straight up to the door. Give them the moisture evaporators. And that'll be it. And... I think... It's one of the things that is available to us. Uh, sand People Guard, can we talk to you? Even through the layers of wrappings, you can tell the Sand People Warrior is disgusted by your presence among his people. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Fair enough. Tell him we have the moisture converters. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. All right. If you can read anything of the Sand People Chieftain's emotions, it seems that he is surprised that you have returned. He can't be that surprised, can he? Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Yeah, we brought them. Like we said we did. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. All right. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Fair enough. I could just be tired of all this and attack him now. Wow. I have a few questions. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. I see. Ask about the cac uh, the captives. Ugh, about the captives. We must be more specific, master. They capture many organics. <laughs> Okay. Ask if he knows about Mission's brother, Griff. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this Griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Hey. 
A. Calm it down, HK. Ask if he knows about the Jawas Isis told us about. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Okay. Sounds good to me. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Good to hear. Alrighty. We did it. We just can't do anything that'll piss them off. And I assume rooting through these things will be one of those things that piss them off. So, uh, we'll just wander around until we find the... Uh, our people we're looking for. Alrighty. However long that might take. Okay, I'm stuck. There we go. Thank you, HK, for getting me stuck. That's exit out. Alright. I have a feeling going through that rag pile is also going to piss them off. So, I'm just not going to do any of that. All right. Oh! The women dress differently. Okay. All right. Um. I really want to go through them, but I don't want to piss them off. Just in case. I'll just leave it alone for now. Oh! Well, hi there! I'm assuming that you're actually, you know, Riff, by the uh, name <laughs> that the game has given you. Alright. Uh, you there. I'm, uh... I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big mm -hmm. reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, uh -huh. don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, uh, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus. So <laughs> as soon as I had the credits, I had the debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. You, you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? Wow. That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough looking friend there. Ooh. Wowzers. This is a, this is a pretty shitty reunion of family. The sand people said you can go. Run to yeah, Anchorhead. You can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Financially, I Oh. Mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits God. to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Don't be so sure. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Uh -huh. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Oh, 
you have no idea how much I want to smack you upside the head, bud. You have no idea. You have no idea how much I just want to punch you in the face. You, you are the worst. You are the worst fucking ever. Holy shit. <laughs> forget it. Just forget it. Huh. I uh, guess you've been talking to Lena too. That's okay. I, I didn't need to talk to, to her. Your it's clear in your actions. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Uh huh. The manager over at the Zerkus Supply Shop said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah. I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, uh -huh. maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me and greet a shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Right. Hi there. You are not the ghostly giants that hold us trapped. The people of Sand. You are from the old city, new. Old city, new. Isis must have sent you coming. Are you a rescuer? You must be. Uh, yeah. The Sand people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. There are thanks you must have. Jabba's under Isis will reward and trade. Find him and you will see. Isis will wait by the walls of your city that open to the sand. He'll trade fair. Thank you. Okay. That was rather succinct. And less drama filled. Yay. Alright, well. Let us, uh... Just continue wandering around a bit. This was... Yeah, this was a chieftain. Okay. You don't have much other reason to hang around, so let's, uh... Let's get out of here. There we go. Now. When it comes to a certain thing that goes on here, there is... There is a whole quest thing that can be done. I know of it because of one particular playthrough in particular where they actually followed through on it. Even though they were playing Dark Side, and it would have been easier just to kill them all. there is a way you can find out more about the sand people. I'm not going to do that because it requires giving up one of the strongest insertable gems for a lightsaber that are available. Instead, I would recommend you follow those people who did that even though they're no longer making videos in that capacity anymore that would be the Zaibatsu uh, the super best friends play uh, I'll throw a link in the description to their playlist for that game uh They've since uh, disbanded as a group. Uh, the ones who are playing the game are still interacting with each other on Twitch, mainly. But they uh, don't create videos in that capacity anymore. Still. Uh, they do it pretty good. And I do want to shout out, you know good LPers that I even follow if I can so uh, there's that 
and I've shouted out uh, at least one of their uh, Twitch channels before. Uh, one of them being Angris Pat, uh, the other one being Wooly Versus. Uh, they both were playing uh, this game as well a while back. They did that option, and then, if I remember correctly, they proceeded to kill all the sand people because evil, and that was kind of their kick. Because <laughs> I do understand why they wanted to do that. It's an interesting path in just how wacky evil they go. At least in the game. That said, A, we're not going to go that path, and B, <laughs> I don't want to miss out on the fucking gem. So, we're not going to do that. I mean, I guess I could save scum. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I you know what? I might I might leave it up. If you guys are willing to put up with the save scumming to at least get the gem back cuz I don't want to lose out on it. Write out in the comments if you want to watch me do it. If you want to watch me interact with it. Otherwise, I'll throw a link to the Zaibatsu, and point them out, and you guys can watch it through their channel. But, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, that pretty much sums all of it up. Okay, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now, uh, primarily because, I mean, we're pretty much at the time limit, and that's, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> We've done quite a bit this episode. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and apparently fighting my own voice today. <laughs> and trying to help out the sand people and uh, get a little help from them in return by giving them the moisture evaporators from Zerka that they requested and uh, proving to them that I'm absolutely trying to help them a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Not being totally mean like some others did <laughs> in their playthroughs. But, I mean, hey, that was kind of the shtick, and it kind of worked out. That's entertaining. Anyway, for you.